are competitive programming skills needed to be a great developer? So this is a question I got on YouTube here from Chinmoy. I just wanna read out the question before um, I share some of my thoughts. So Chinmoy says, is competitive programming needed for being a great developer? Like participating in contests and solve online judges problems like UVA, URI, CF, HackerRank, etc. If yes, how is, it, how is it helpful and how do I start learning it as a beginner and using Python? So really interesting question. Um, to be honest, personally, I'm not a huge fan of these kind of competitive programming situations because I tried like back at university, we put together a team. Um, I joined a team and we're going to some of these competitions and I just didn't really enjoy the experience. Number one, um, I didn't like the pressure. I like to think things through and sort of do that in, in an environment that just feels safe and where I don't feel under, you know, the pressure of having the clock like ticking away. Um, number two, like we didn't do all that great and, um, for that reason, it was like a, it was not like a super encouraging um, experience, and I didn't really sort of um, you know it, it wasn't a motivating sense um, of defeat. It was just like oh yeah, like we like just bombed on these problems, and there's all these like super smart people around us who were just plowing through this stuff. I mean, obviously they were like a you know just far ahead of us in terms of the the practice they put in um, and. Uh, it, it was like our first or second semester that we did that, but it was maybe like a good grounding in reality of, you know, how, you know, I, I just wasn't good at, at solving these kinds of competitive, like algorithmic and, and data structures problems under that time pressure. Now I still found a job um, and actually found several jobs and never felt like this was holding me back a lot. Um, I did realize later on that I would need to learn some of the skills that are helpful in these kind of competitive programming contests if I wanted to make it through a coding interview. You know, you have to be able to deal with the pressure and um, for, for many jobs, unfortunately, you have to be able to stand in front of a whiteboard and explain stuff and, you know, maybe code up some stuff while someone else is looking over your shoulder. There, Unfortunately, a lot of times, you know, there isn't a way around that and you're gonna have to learn how to deal with that pressure. That doesn't really mean that, you know, I enjoyed those situations, but it's just a reality of, of getting a job as a programmer today and especially getting your first like entry level, um, entry level job there. So, well, do I think competitive programming um, experience uh, is absolutely needed? No, because I don't have competitive programming experience in the sense that this is something that I trained or you know worked on. Like my my um, my strategy was more to actually go and build stuff and build up a, a portfolio of projects that I could show around, and um, then learn enough uh, interviewing skills to be able to not just completely bomb. Uh, an interview and you know break have a heart attack and start sweating like crazy so so that was my strategy and um another strategy might be to actually you know just be awesome at these contests win one of these contests and then probably gonna have a really easy time to get an interview of at one of the big um the, the big four companies but what i want to say here is that i don't think it is absolutely necessary you know and in fact like when you look at how many people compete in these contests and um, it is definitely a very, very small subset there. Um, now, I do see a value in solving these problems and, and working, um, participating in these competitions. Um, if you enjoy it, do it. Absolutely. I think you're going to learn a lot about um, sort of, you know, thinking on, quickly on the spot, solving these coding challenges on the spot there. And it's something that's probably going to help you later in an interview situation. But if you don't enjoy it, I don't think you have, you should force yourself to do it. You know, there's, this is a, such a wide field and there, you know, just as in human beings, like there's different, um, there's different, um, different 
kinds of developer personalities um, out there as well. Like actually in my experience, I found that most pe people that I later on work with, they were not the kind of person that would do like great in, in a programming contest. Like it's, it's just a skill, like a highly specialized skill where you can solve these problems over and over again, or where you solve practice solving them over and over again, and you just get good at recognizing these specific contest problems and solving them quickly. Now, sure, there's a lot of skills, a skill and like a lot of uh, exercising and training involved in that. But you know, later on, I realized it wasn't some it was not some black magic where everyone around me was you know an infinitely better programmer it was just that in this specific context of solving these issues um there were some people who are very very highly skilled at that and you know if you if you work with them maybe they're actually terrible to work with maybe they're complete assholes and then they're gonna have a hard time a harder time finding a job, even though they might be like the greatest people at solving these contests, um, compared to someone else who is enjoyable to work with, who's working on their skills, um, and who's maybe not going to these contests, you know, so so it's all relative. Um, but to kind of, you know, reel this all in and, 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 and just find closure here. Um, I don't think you need to be great at these kinds of programming contests to get a job as a Python developer, as a software developer in general. Is it gonna hurt? Probably not in most cases. Is it absolutely necessary? No, if you don't enjoy it, don't do it. That's, that's what I would recommend to you. So if you enjoyed this video, then click the like and subscribe button and I'll talk to you soon. Happy Pythoning.